So what we're going to do now is, first of all, when we look at this, I'm going to turn on the satellite view. And we're, we're leveraging Google Earth. We all know Google Earth. We just never have a reason to use it. But now you do. There is the factory. It is in a real place. If I pull back a little bit, this is obviously an industrial park near a big railway uh, freight yard. It's in downtown Cincinnati. It's down there near the river. And, you know, I, I could have put the factory right in the middle of the river. I've had people say, you know, your software let me put the factory in the middle of the river. No, I wouldn't phrase it that way. I would say you used the software to put the factory in the middle of the river, which is then followed up by another question. And why did you do that? I don't know. Maybe you're going to build it up on stilts and have uh, barges go underneath it and download stuff to it. I don't know. Um, but if you did put your factory in the middle of the river, of course, I would see it right away. And I would say, why did you put your factory in the middle of the river? So unless you have a good reason for doing things, don't do it. Um, this is put in an industrial park because that would make sense. This factory is a food processing factory. It's not, a, it's not taking iron ore and smelting it into molten steel. So that kind of an, a usage, obviously, you don't see any of that going on here. So... If I did have a factory like that, I wouldn't put it there. But I do, a food processing makes a whole heap of sense to put it right there. And then when we pull back and we take a look, if we follow that, that little shuttle truck that goes from the factory to the DC, and we zoom in on the DC, the DC is also in a place where real distribution centers are. Look, and, and this illustrates, you know, the, the standard answer to where should I put my DC boss is put it at a transportation hub, uh, a hub on the outskirts of town so your trucks don't get stuck in downtown traffic and you have multiple shipping options. And if I told you that and you wrote it down and I asked you that on a question, you wrote it back to me, we would all get A's, except hardly any of us would know what the heck we were talking about. When we do it like this, you apply what you heard. So when you pull back, and let me flip back to the map view here. And this is all extremely relevant. I hope that this doesn't sound like a hopeless ramble, although it's a little rambly, I know. Um, we're employing best practices and doing it in a way to solve a very open-ended problem. And as you apply best practices to solve these problems, what you'll see is it reflects in the results that you get once you start to produce your profit and loss reports and your KPIs. So again, that's why that, that's why this DC is where it is. So it's a very realistic supply chain in the sense that facilities really are where they really should be or where they would be in the real world. Okay, that said, let's do this. We're going to make that truck run 